you guys how I made the little badge that I used to engrave on my gun. So I wanted this and I was thinking, well, how can I do it? So I went into the AI and I said, AI, make me a police badge shape. And it gave me this. And it was pretty darn close to what I wanted, but I didn't want the middle filled. And I didn't want it to say police on this particular one. So no big deal. What I, I was like, well, you know what? I'll just edit this. The first thing I did was I duplicated this. So I copied it and then I pasted and you can see now I had two. Then what I did was I didn't want the police part in here, this little part that said police. So I ungrouped my police, ungrouped it, and then I took out that police. And there's, uh, there's a couple ways to do this, but this is as simple as if you go in to <clears throat> the nodes, you can literally just take it out. All right, done. Now, if I double click here, same thing, I could come into these nodes. I'm hitting delete on my computer and I just took them out. That's all I did. So now I have the two shapes of the badge and I just want an outline of it. So what I simply did was I shrunk one down a little bit, brought them together and lined them up. And then you can see if I move my cursor over here, it kind of shows me where it is and I can adjust this. And I wanted to move it kind of up a tiny little bit. Let's see here. Yeah, and that's pretty good. That's kind of like what I wanted. So then all I had to do is subtract that shape from the other shape. So how do you do that? If you select the whole thing, both of these together, and you come up here, you'll see you have a bunch of different options. One of them is subtract. So it's gonna take the one shape away from the other. So I'm gonna click this and you can see it now deleted that part of the badge that I didn't want. So now I have pretty much what I wanted. So now the next thing I only had to do now was I wanted to add my badge number to it. So I simply made some text. My badge number is 37. I put that in there, set it to engrave, and then I increased the size and centered it in the badge. Boom. And that's how I got my little engraving for my gun relatively simple. Now, then I could just, if I want to, I can then group this together. And that was pretty much all there was to do that. Now, yeah, so we have basically just made our own little, our own little vector. That was kind of exactly uh, what I wanted to do. Now, um, and the nice thing is now once I grouped it, then I can kind of move it around, put it wherever I want it. And you know, and there's probably, is it absolutely perfect in the perfect uh, orientation here? No, it's not. I, I could probably make that a little bit better, but I just wanted to kind of show you quickly. That's how <clears throat> I did this little one down here, which I think you'll see is a little bit more perfect. So I made sure I had everything lined up really well there, but that's how you can edit vector images or SVGs to kind of get them the way you want it to be. So there's a lot of these little subtract and add and little tools that you can use will really uh, be quite helpful for creating your own little design. So I hope you guys uh, like that. And I just figured I'd show you how I put that together because I did get a couple messages from people that were like, hey, how did you make that little badge? That's how I did it. So that's it. Have a great day, everybody. And I will catch you again on another video soon.